welcome back. Let me show you what I got in mind to do today on this HHR. This is a steering column I purchased at a wrecking yard. And what I want to do, I'd like to replace the whole thing, but it gets pretty involved. And I want to, I want to try and replace this motor here. First of all, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this strap that's on here, this hold down cable. Need to hold this piece in and pull this out. Okay. okay these bolts are 12 millimeter. And I was able to break it loose with one hand. They're pretty tight, of course. You want that staying on. There, one. And two. on there and splines in here. Well I need to remove this bolster right here and the one behind it in order to get to the bottom of the steering column. It's a knee bolster they call it. There's two screws. There's one on this side. And they are seven millimeters. Moving over to this side Okay, now the bolster just unsnaps. Okay, this knee bolster bracing. There are these bolts for the bracing. This knee bolster are 10 millimeter, and they look like that. Okay, there's the knee bolster bracing. It is loose. There is the motor. Okay, this padding right here has some push-in clips. There's a few of those missing. Well, you can generally back and forth and then this padding comes out that will enable you to drop the motor from up under here the motor would come down well if I remember push record it would be better I use this socket 12 meter real socket with an extension on it will uh, get past this bar and then you just get that top bolt with it I just used a pass-through socket wrench and because uh, I couldn't hunt up a small extension. The motor just drops down, pulls out and drops down the backside. The replacement motor goes back up in the same one the old one came out, which I failed to film, so I failed to record. But I will record this one. Start the bottom one first. It's the easiest one for me to do. And the top one. Next. Anyway, the ratchet socket wrench just reaches behind and lets you get hold of this one. Okay, now that the top one's tight, I can go back to the bottom one and uh, I'll go ahead and use my open-in wrench here on it. 
seems to be an easy way to get to it. Okay, plug the uh, connection back in. Okay, that's that. It's good and tight. All back together. Hook up another uh, cable tie if you have one. I don't have one at the moment. I'll have to go get one, but anyway. Put a cable tie around it, and the uh, steering motor is changed. That's the way I do it. This little clip right here keeps wanting to fall out. Sometimes all you got to do is just put a piece of paper towel around it right there, and make sure you put it on the right way, and you're good to go. So, the only thing to do now is to uh, go hook the power back up to the battery, cable back up, and... Uh, Start it up, check it, see how she is. Well, I have to say, the steering feels a lot better. It's smoother. There's less effort with this steering wheel than there ever was. So I believe the motor was kind of dated. So probably I did the right thing in replacing the motor. If you have a bad steering motor, then maybe this video will help you. In the meantime, you might want to check out that video there or that video there. Bye for now.